All right, you guys, so welcome back to my channel. I want to go ahead and do a video on high-end products that I believe are worth the money. And how I got this, you know, products or list started was if you were to buy this product, it doesn't matter what your skin type is or anything like that. It should work for your skin. So these are the ones that I believe if I do recommend and you buy it right now, you're actually going to love it. So I hope you guys are excited. Make sure you go ahead and like, subscribe, and let's jump right into the video. So actually how I'm going to do this video is I'm going to go in order of how you do your makeup so hopefully that makes it easier for you guys um, but the first one I do have is primer and I do have the Canon Austin prime and protect mattifying primer which is my baby I love this stuff so much you guys for so many different reasons um, number one it does have the word mattifying but I do believe if you do have dry skin or oily skin it doesn't matter it's still gonna work for your skin but at the same time you guys I will say if you do have oily skin it does a great job at controlling your oils and this is the only primer that does a good job for me so I always always have to have this and one more thing on here is it does have SPF 50 which I do love so it is a makeup item and a skincare item all in one and it's just like the best primer I have ever tried so I do recommend this one so the next one I do have up for you guys is the Dior backstage face and body foundation which is my baby I love this stuff so much you guys and I truly do believe if you have dry skin oily skin normal skin it doesn't matter this foundation will work for you um, but let me go ahead and get it out the box and this is what it looks like I just love the packaging so much but this foundation guys the reason why I love it is because it's your skin but better type of look it's not cakey it's not heavy on the skin it just literally melts into your skin and makes everything look super flawless and just beautiful um, but also my favorite part about this foundation is um, even though I have extremely oily skin I realize I don't get really oily with this after you know a couple hours and I will say with this foundation it's not a super full coverage foundation but at the same time you can take your time and build it up on your skin and it'll still give you that full coverage look but at the same time it is not cakey at all so one of my favorites I can keep going on and on but this foundation everybody out there that I tell to pick it up they always buy it and tell me they love it so that is saying something um, but moving on to concealer I do have the path McGrath labs skin fetish sublime perfection concealer in the shade MD 22 hands down you guys the best concealer I have ever ever tried I don't know what she put in here but I'm happy because honestly, once I put it on my skin, the first time I did try it out, I fell in love. And all my other concealers, you guys, I really haven't touched at all just because this one does everything I want and more. So this is the packaging. And y'all can see that it does have that glass bottle. So it does feel very, you know, luxurious and expensive on the hand. But this concealer itself, you guys, I just love the way it makes my under eyes look i was about to say my face but my under eyes or wherever i apply the concealer it just makes it look like you have a filter on your skin it is absolutely flawless and it's funny because with path mcgrath a lot of her you know collections are super skin like and whatnot so when i got the concealer i did not expect for it to be you know kind of thick but at the same time even though it is thick once you blend it out you guys you don't feel it on your face if you know what i mean um but it's just the best concealer out there and i just I tell everybody about it but honestly if you haven't tried this out you are missing out okay so moving on to the next one I do have under eye powders and this one is like a bonus because I do have an extra one that I do want to share with you guys because I just love both of them so much I think either way you go you're gonna love these powders so starting with the first one I do want to talk about the Huda Beauty easy bake powder in the shade Kanafa and this powder you guys funny enough like I was just thinking the other day what powder was I using before this? Because it's just the best yellow powder out there. Um, the reason why I love this one so much is because it does control my oil because I am super, super oily. But also beyond that, you guys, like the shade itself, it's not ashy at all. A lot of the banana powders out there are super ashy on the skin and just light. And with this one, it just gives me the undertone that I'm looking for when it comes to my under eyes. So I absolutely love this powder. And I'm sure you guys already know at this point because I use it for every single video that I do. So moving on to the other powder I do have. I have the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder in the shade Honey. And let me get it out for you guys as well. But when it comes to Laura Mercier, I feel like her powders are are just super finely milled super soft it doesn't feel like you're applying anything on your skin and once you have this powder on I'm telling you your skin will look airbrushed as well so let me show you guys the color of this powder 
and what it looks like and I did a whole video on it if you're interested but her powders are just one of the best out there if you haven't tried it I don't know what you're doing because this powder has been around for months um not this powder specifically but her powders in general and it's just one of the best out there you guys so definitely check these two out i am obsessed with them so this next one when it comes to setting your face actually this powder is the best powder out there if you do know a better one let me know down below but honestly i can argue with you this powder is just the best out there you guys so it is the make it forever matte velvet skin powder and i have it in the shade y505 i'm sure you guys have seen this on my channel a million times but honestly you guys the reason why i do recommend this powder is because it is a powder foundation so typically when it comes to powder foundations if you apply them on top of your foundation it may look a little bit cakey but with this one i have no issues at all you guys because a powder foundation you just use by itself but on top of a foundation it just takes it to a whole nother level i am telling y'all because every time i put this on my skin it looks super smooth flawless you guys already know the words that i use but it just makes everything look really nice and just put together and especially if you do have a lot of dark marks on your face um i do have some on my cheek area and on my chin if i do go in with my foundation and i notice that my dark marks are still peeking through i will go in with this and it just covers everything up so yeah you guys it's the best powder foundation out there i am telling you I will argue with you because it's just it's pop so this next item actually took me by surprise because when i first heard about it i looked at the price of it you guys and i literally screamed because i just thought it was super expensive but if you look at the amount of products you are getting with this it is worth the money and it's a charlotte tilbury airbrush bronzer and i have it in the shade tan so let me go ahead and take it out for you guys and show you the packaging because i think her packaging is just super luxurious and just beautiful like i'm obsessed every time i look at it but this bronzer i'm gonna go ahead and say it it is the best bronzer i have ever ever tried you guys because a lot of bronzers i do have in my collection look super red or orange on my skin but with this bronzer i will say she did a great job at mimicking what it will look like if i had a natural bronze on my skin if that makes sense so with this one i have it in the shade tan and i do have it on my skin today and y'all can see it doesn't look red on my skin okay it just looks very natural and just beautiful and the way it blends you guys it literally just melts into your skin like you can't even tell you're applying bronzer and it's just ugh, it's so good so this is something that took me by surprise because she only has four shades so i didn't expect much from her but i'm telling y'all if you haven't had a chance to test it out you need to go ahead and pick it up so i realized my voice was getting a little bit crackly because i have been talking so much so i went ahead and poured me some cranberry juice and a wine glass super fancy okay so yeah let me get it together real quick Okay, so we only have a couple more items and one of them is the Fenty Beauty Cream Blushes and I do have it in the shade Rosé Latte and Summertime Wine. But these blushes, when I first heard about them, I just thought, oh my goodness, I have oily skin. Is it going to be too glowy for my skin? But I'm telling y'all right now, it does add like the perfect amount of glow to the cheeks and also a nice flush of color as well. So let me show you guys the two shades I have. Um, and the best part is you can apply it on top of your foundation. Sorry, y'all, I'm struggling. Okay, so you can apply it on top of your foundation and it wouldn't move your foundation around. It just it just blends right in, you guys. You have to really try it out to see what I'm talking about. So these are the two that I do have. I'm gonna pick up some more for sure, but these have to be mentioned because they're so, so good. Now, the next one I do have is the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Black Liquid Liner. I'm not sure if that's the name of it, but it's a liquid liner in black. And I know it's funny because there's a lot of eyeliners nowadays in the drugstore and high end. But when it comes to a matte liquid liner with no shimmer and glitter, this one is my favorite because I don't know what it is, but a lot of eyeliners nowadays have glitter and shimmer. I'm just like, what is the point of that? Like, I don't want a shiny liner you know what i mean um but i love the fact that this is super matte and black so actually i'm gonna swatch it on the back of my hand to show you guys what it looks like and how pigmented it is as well 
So mind you, it's still drying, of course. So it's not going to be matte right now, but y'all can see how black and pigmented it is. It's just one of the best out there. Okay, so when you have two more items left, and one of them is the Artist Couture Loose Highlighter in the shade Conceited. And it doesn't have to be this shade specifically. So actually, I'm looking at my highlighter collection right now, and I will say a lot of them that I do have kind of sit on top of my skin, but I want, you know, my highlighter to kind of give me that glow from within look, if that makes sense. So this is what this highlighter does for me and i will give you guys a quick swatch of it as well so y'all can have a reference so here's the highlighter itself and it's just so beautiful you guys like it's super metallic but at the same time a little bit goes a long way so if you don't apply too much it will look very natural in the skin i will say so yeah one of my favorites out there i highly Highly recommend these. Okay, so last but not least, you guys, I do have the Natasha Denona Sunset Palette, which I did get a year ago. And with this, I know it's super expensive. A lot of people don't feel like it's worth the price because, I mean, it is about $125. So I do understand. But it did hit me last year that I had a lot of eyeshadow palettes that I wasn't using because they were super chalky, they were not pigmented, they weren't blending well. And even though they're super cheap and affordable, is it worth having 15 and 20 eyeshadow palettes that you're not using so instead what i thought about is just investing in a good eyeshadow palette that is super pigmented super you know blendable on the eyes and whatnot and this eyeshadow palette is that for me so i got this one because it does have my neutral tones that i love so i had to go ahead and get this one but it's super pigmented you guys you won't have any issue with this like you don't have to sit there and like dig into the eyeshadow palette it's just easy to work with so highly recommend this one i know she has a couple more out there that i do want to pick up um but if you do want a good staple eyeshadow palette i do recommend this one okay so that was everything i wanted to go ahead and recommend to you guys and i do hope you enjoyed this video like always let me know down below your thoughts but i love you guys so much make sure you go ahead and like subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next one